So the 640D has a bit of a leaky bum at the moment. It's leaving some lovely oil patches all over my driveway. So, I've come somewhere very expensive on a Saturday morning to rectify it. Well, to buy the parts to rectify it anyway. Guess the price. Thank you BMW Southport. Gaskets delivered already to, uh, to Chris. Well done for that one, mate. But I did manage to price up some discs while I was here as well. Just out of curiosity, because those front ones do need doing on my car. And the rear prop donut, maybe. Ready for the damage? Uh, front discs, 153 quid each. I'm pretty sure that's plus VAT. Yeah, it is. Uh, and the rear prop donut, £129. They're trade prices as well. So we got a better discount because, you know, my friend at CL Autos is a legend. Um, so yeah, owning a BMW is never going to be cheap, is it? Unfortunately, these older ones, albeit a bargain price to buy, when you come to fix them, they're still, what, a 60, 70 grand car. Anyway, let's get those bits sorted, on, fixed, and enjoy driving it some more. <laughs> Assume the stance. But it's like, Leaky it's body. dripping on the subframe, mate. Oh. oh, where have you gone, you slag? <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Gasket like, oh, dirty boy. Don't know why I'm moving this. This doesn't move the camera, does it? <laughs> but yeah, that is a leak. Wonderful. Yeah, gasket's gone. Wonderful. Same yes. job for you, pal. Yes, I probably could have got them cheaper on eBay, but it was just easier to go directly to BMW when they told me exactly what gaskets I needed. But for anyone else who needs them, there you go. And she's back in action. She's not leaking oil, which is, you know, a bonus. Because I did drive it for a couple of days and it was losing oil a little bit. So big thank you to Chris at CL Autos again for that one. Oh, I've missed this thing. I've, uh, I've been going up and down the motorway in the Twingo. Which, as much as I absolutely love the Twingo, it, it's hard work as well. It is hard work. There's no cruise control. It's, you know, it's a bit raw is the best way of describing it. And to jump back in this with the luxury of it, which feels even more so now after sitting in cloth upright seats. Um, yeah, it, it just reiterates how much I absolutely love this car. And I don't think there's much better for the money as well. Like if I was to jump out of this, which, you know, you get itchy feet all the time, don't you? You look at other things, you think, oh, I fancy something else all the time. Uh, I very rarely keep hold of daily cars for that long. But I've got no reason to get rid of this one. Like. When it had an oil leak, I was like, oh, here we go. You know, it's going to cost a fortune because, well, they just do, don't they? But it turned out to just be a gasket under the inlet manifold. They're quite a common thing that happens on them, apparently. Um, just a bit of a bad design of gaskets, to be fair, that break down over time. But it could happen on any car. You know, I could have any car right now and it could have an issue with a gasket or a CV boot or a tire. Yeah, there's, there's always going to be little things. And especially when you're driving them every day as well. Is it something that, like put me off the car no no these things happen so yeah i just made up to be back in it to be honest um fingers crossed nothing else goes wrong with it because it tends to be the way they come in threes don't they so yeah it's had an oil change at the same time as well uh, when you take off the oil cooler the coolant and the oil mix so just to be safe oil has been flushed as well but again, big thank you to Chris at CL Autos. He knows his stuff about these BMs. His missus has actually got an X5, similar motor to these, different oil cooler. He showed us the differences between them, which was quite interesting as well. Annoyingly, the X5, I think it's a slightly earlier engine. They have a different design, so they have different gaskets. There's actually less gaskets on the older version compared to this one. There's about eight or nine gaskets on this thing, and it's costing a little bit more. So 110 quid in gaskets and a few hours labor. Joys, eh? Joys are running a, an expensive car that you didn't pay a lot of money for a few years down the line. 
Um, so yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for more 640D updates. I will be doing some more. They do tend to be our most popular videos on the channel as well. So hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you soon.